my channel. Today we are going to be decorating my living room for Christmas. I am super excited. As you can see, I do have just green garland up here, but believe me when I say this whole space here is going to be transformed and I am so excited. I just have the garland hanging up right now because it was a little tricky to actually get it to stay up there. So I figured while it's up there, I will leave it, but we are definitely going to be adding so much more to that and it's going to be stunning, the final result. And then also my Christmas tree. We did a traditional family Christmas tree this year. And if you are new to my channel, fun fact, we typically never put ornaments on our tree. I know that's kind of weird, but this year we really wanted to do a traditional family Christmas tree. So instead of just filming me decorating a tree, we did that as a family and it was super fun. So I will give you guys a closer up look at some of the ornaments, but we are going to be styling the mantle. Like I said, we're going to be putting some things down here inside of the fireplace, our couches. I also finally got a new couch. I am so, so excited about it. I cannot wait to show you guys what the couch looks like. It is stunning and I'm super pumped about it. It's so comfortable. We'll get into that here in just a minute, but we're also going to be styling our coffee table. I have a black buffet that I painted over the summer. I absolutely love, so we're gonna be styling the top of that. It's just going to be very cozy and Christmassy in here. I am going to be incorporating lots of natural elements. We're gonna be doing some dried orange garland, some cranberry garland. I also have some wooden ornaments in my tree along with some paper ones as well. And yeah, just going to be sticking with those traditional Christmas colors, but kind of mixing in the the natural elements along with some velvets and things like that. So it's going to be a very just rich feeling and pretty, but it is so cozy in here at night. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like when it's all decorated and all the lights are on. It's beautiful. But for now, I do want to thank Valencia Theater Seating for sponsoring today's video. I was gifted this beautiful, beautiful leather couch and we're gonna go take a peek at it now. I cannot wait to show you. It is so comfortable. This is what the couch looks like. If you guys remember our couch dilemma. So we had an old couch, long story short, it pretty much just got demolished and it was not the best quality. This one is amazing. The leather is so nice. It is genuine leather. The color of it is beautiful. I love the smell of the leather. It is stunning. I also love that the backing, like the cushions come off, these cushions come off. It's so pretty. I love the fact that you can just wipe it down and you're good to go. It does have black legs that are beautiful. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like and how you kind of just place it together. Super simple, literally just take it out of the box and you add the legs to it. That was all it took. This is a very heavy duty, great quality couch. And I am so, so thankful to now have it in our home. It is the perfect addition to our living room. Okay, so if you guys love that rich, just brown leather look, you will definitely love this. I'm gonna show you how you literally just unvelcro the back of this and it velcros on there. It is so nice. These just simply stick on there. All three of these do this. These also come out as well. So very simple to just place in and take out. The couch also came with two leather pillows as well. So you can easily just pop these on here. This couch is truly so beautiful. Whenever I was trying to figure out what pillows I wanted to put on here for Christmas, I thought, honestly, it really doesn't need anything. But because it is Christmas time, I do want to make it a little more festive. So we're going to do that here in just a second. This couch is seriously just so nice. I love it. I love the smell. Whenever we first got it and brought it into the living room, my three-year-old, he jumped on it and he was like, this is so cozy, mom. He absolutely loves it. So let's go ahead and decorate this couch up for Christmas. I am going to be incorporating some plaid, some green velvet. It's going to be stunning. So here is what the couch looks like, all decorated for Christmas. I love the subtle pop of black over here with the plaid. I think this is just so, so beautiful. It gives it a really classy look in my opinion. And then as far as these throw pillows go, they are all velvet except for that middle one there, obviously. So this one I found on clearance at Target. It was actually a fall pillow. 
um, but I knew that those were kind of like the coppery gold colors that I was going to be accenting with this Christmas. So I thought that is perfect for this couch. It kind of blends in on camera, but in person it definitely doesn't. It's really pretty. And then I also have green velvet. This pillow here in the center I have had for, gosh, probably like five years now. I found this at Hobby Lobby years ago, and I love it. And then I also have the same velvet pillows on the side. But yes, if if you are in need of a new couch, like I was, check out Valencia Theater Seating. I will have everything linked down below. And I just think that this is so, so beautiful. Definitely just perfect. It's so cozy and I love the accent that it brings to our home. Okay, now that we have styled the couch, I wanted to show you guys what that looked like first. We're gonna go ahead and do this mantle. This is probably what I'm most excited about. Total transformation to this space. I hope you're ready for it. For starters, we're going to be layering in our stockings first. So there are a lot of pieces that we're going to be layering in to create this mantle. But I have a couple of cranberry colored stockings. They're kind of like a knit sweater material. I also have some ivory ones and one that's kind of like a teddy bear coat. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's more of like a boucle texture and fabric. And I'm just going to be layering those in. I wanted to do like a mix and match with the stockings this year. That way everything wasn't so matchy matchy and it just felt a little more rustic in my opinion. So to the stockings, I did take some different colors of ribbon. I have like a hunter green velvet ribbon that I tied on there. Some of them I tied more of a satin copper ribbon. And then I have a few that are red velvet as well, kind of like a cranberry velvet color and then as far as the garlands go so we're going to be starting out with this dried orange garland I did make this so stay tuned I do have a DIY video coming up full of Christmas DIYs and this orange garland is in there but I absolutely love this this is one of my favorite things um, just in my whole home for this Christmas season I loved incorporating the dried oranges so what I did after I made the garland was just kind of layer this throughout there's no really rhyme or reason to how I did this I just kind of placed it to where it looked very natural naturally laid it wasn't just perfect and pristine so I just wanted to give it that rustic feel and then after the dried oranges I am going to be adding in a gold it's kind of like a wood bead garland and this was something that I found at a vintage market last year from one of my friend's shops and I absolutely love it so I'm going to be incorporating that on top and then the star of the show or one of the stars of the show I should say is going to be a fresh cranberry garland cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like it is so so beautiful
Okay, so now that the mantle is decorated, I do want to point out a few things to you guys. So the orange garland and this cranberry garland, this is fresh cranberries. This is not just red beaded garland. These are actual cranberries that I made. So I do have a DIY Christmas decor video coming up. You do not want to miss it. It is loaded with tons of wonderful DIY Christmas decor, including these garlands. So stay tuned for that. As far as this top garland goes, I actually purchased that at Walmart this year. It's like $20 and I just added some twinkle lights in there. A little hack that you guys probably saw or noticed in the clip was I have this crock here with this little Christmas tree inside. And I took the battery operated, like the battery pack for the lights and stuck it in there and you would have no clue. So our mantle is not very deep. It's pretty narrow. So I don't have anywhere to just kind of stick the battery pack at. So sticking it in a crock, you're good to go. Totally fine. As far as the trees go, you guys got a close up of some of the ornaments. So some of these were thrifted. Some of these were little DIYs that we've had in the past, like this one here. It just has um, my son's name on it. The animals and the dinosaurs, that is something that my boys are into right now. And those are ornaments that they normally have on their tree in their bedroom. So we added them to this tree this year. I also had a wedding invitation that we've had um, from our wedding seven years ago, seven and a half years ago almost that was shredded up and it was actually a gift to us and was placed in a clear ornament. So I have that on here. It's a lot of different things. Um, but anyway, overall, we really love how it turned out. And as far as the tree skirt or tree collar goes, I know you guys can't see it in this clip, but I did mention it in one of my videos. I do have a th large thrifted basket that the tree sits in perfectly. So I do have like the tree stand inside of the basket and that has worked out wonderfully for us. So we've done that for two years in a row now and I love it. So that's probably gonna be continuing on each year for us, it just works. And then as far as a star, that is actually a large ornament. I know you guys can't see it right now. I'll show you guys in a clip, but it is actually a large star, like kind of cardboard paper ornament that I found at Hobby Lobby recently for $3. I don't know why, but stars never tend to stay up whenever we try to put one on our tree. So I never do it. So this one is just an ornament that I have tucked in some branches, but you would never know it's just tucked up there because it looks like it's actually like attached to the tree and it is not. So anyway, that's the gist with the tree. I just had some like cranberry, like kind of frosted looking cranberry picks stuck in there. There are also some like goldish champagne color. So it all just ties together really well. But so far, my favorite thing is the mantle. I love the layered look. I feel like this is something that I don't see very often whenever like you're online just looking at different things for inspiration. Um, I feel like it's kind of the same look and color pattern a lot of the times and I knew I wanted to incorporate natural and very festive and like true to Christmas colors so that's what I did and I'm really pleased with how it turned out so let me know down in the comments if this is something that you guys enjoy and love and just seeing something a little bit different um, this is definitely something super easy that you can put together and mimic very easily so I hope this gave you some inspiration but for now, let's get to decorating the rest of this room. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, I'm in my pajamas. I'm filming this and it's almost like 6 p.m. So it's getting darker now, but I just wanted to film and just be super cozy. So let's get to the rest of this room. Okay, next thing I have for you, we are going to be styling the top of the buffet. 
Clearly, I added garland to this already too. I don't know what it is about garland. I have a hard time getting it to stay. So once it's up there, I'm leaving it. Um, but this is an arched mirror that we've had for several years now. It came from Kirkland's originally. I get asked about this in videos often and um, they don't have it anymore, unfortunately, but they do have lots of other like arched mirrors that are similar. But all I did was hang this. So this is actually old garland that I've had for several years now. It came from Walmart originally. And my original plan for that was I cut it up in strips and stuck it in my tree to make it like a little more full. So I just had extra garland laying around. So this is one strip. And then to make this look a little fuller on this side, I took two of those strands of garland and kind of like meshed them together. And those are hanging there on a command hook. So that will stay the same. I also have my black candle sconces. And again, styling the top of this buffet. So let's go ahead and get to it.
I hope you enjoyed decorating the living room with me today. I have had so much fun making this space super cozy for Christmas. Again, my favorite area is the mantle. I absolutely love how it turned out. And I love the subtle touches of red that I incorporated. So again, I was wanting to do those really just natural and just traditional Christmas colors, but just make it really toned down and kind of just rich feeling, you know, like rich in color, rich in texture and things like that. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out this year. Let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite portion of today's video? What was your favorite item that stood out to you? And was there anything in particular that you're hoping to incorporate into your home as well? I hope you guys got lots of decorating inspiration here today and hopefully you guys incorporate these things into your home as well. Be sure to share this video with a friend if you think that there's anything in particular in this video that they would enjoy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new here, I would love to have you. Also hit that bell notification, that way you're notified every time I post. And if you are in the mood for much more Christmas content, be sure to check out my Christmas playlist link down below. It's titled Christmas 2023. And if you're interested in the couch, I will have all of that information linked down below too. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.